Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, new leaders of the supreme way of the Tao, nature and mother earth. In these final stages of the great shift, the telomeres within our chromosomes that carry our DNA are upgrading and transforming to hold and contain the codes of our fifth dimensional solar light bodies. These configurations are coming through in pulses and waves of cosmic rays from the great central sun and through our Solaris into Gaia and all her living children of the light for the full quantum leap of consciousness into the new humans we call Homo Luminous or Homo Noospherecus, higher telepathic beings of the new time as art. Time and space become our expansive canvas to paint our co-creative visions of heaven upon earth. We guide the God source energy with the power of our almighty I am presence, our pure intent and divine will. Not a thing can keep us from our task and mission of manifesting our highest dreams of our true heart's delights. You hold the original divine blueprints within the codes of your DNA. We tap into our God-given abilities and gifts with our clear minds of bliss, and with an open heart and mind we pave the way for a better day for all sentient beings of the way. The Tao works through our sacred vessels to keep holding the faith and hope for a new horizon of the pure land of Amida Buddha to be here now. When we realize our true Buddha nature of infinite life, we become the living avatars of the new earth paradigm. As messengers of light, we speak from our hearts and minds as one coherent and congruent vessel of love and truth through the Heros Gamos, both internally and externally. The Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine come together in perfect harmony to balance all the elements and merge heaven and earth through the Rainbow Bridge. With the direct experience of the Great Mystery, we tap into the genius within and together rise and create the most magnificent masterpiece of the New Earth Vibration. May these words of encouragement activate you in your highest love and truth to accept and allow your bright virtue to shine through. Keep resonating your secret queen's chamber within your still heart center with the music of the spheres, and in divine time all will flow into the sacred patterns of eternal bliss consciousness of the new golden age of infinite light. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor, share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm to get this gnosis and energy connection out to more of our team of the 144,000. That is 72,000 sacred divine feminine and 72,000 sacred divine masculine that merge together in consciousness and in the etheric as the eagle fly with the condor, Shakti dance with Shiva, the yin merge with the yang in divine union. We are the love that we transmit to the world and to all life in all realms, dimensions, and timelines here now merging together in our sacred heart center. We had a very powerful day today as Gaia sent two powerful sacred bald eagles to my queen and I as they transmitted the power, strength, and beauty of our eagle nation. They swirled together through the skies transmitting their sacred sounds and white light. We transmit this to you now and through this recording. 444 coming in. Guy also sent us our friend Walela, the sacred hummingbird. And the image in today's video at the beginning, the bee gnome, be well, was a special friend we found as I went on a walk with our boys the other day. 
So the beautiful gnome nation will also be coming through in today's transmissions, working with the elementals and Mother Earth. Aho! And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 5 degrees, 42 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 13 degrees, 23 minutes Aries. The 13 of the Divine Goddess, the 1 into the 3, 2, 3. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 14 degrees Aries. A serpent coiling near a man and a woman. The Kundalini within activates the new golden garden of Eden. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 6 degrees Taurus. A bridge being built across a gorge. From astrologyweekly.com. This is the gorge of the unknown, the void in between worlds, bridging heaven and earth. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from Animal Spirits Knowledge Cards from Susan Boulay. And the card she pulled for you today Gull, Symbology, Water, Creation, Emotions. The Gull, a creature of the sea and sky symbolically links the lower earthly world with the upper world of the spirit it is also a symbol of unrestrained emotion in the northwest native american legend an angry gull kills a raven one of the most powerful totems that had invaded the gull's beach a great war between ravens and gulls for dominion of the beach ensues in the end the gull is subdued and the two birds sheer power over the shore in the painting, the gall appears along with a nautilus, mollusk, and the image of Amphitrite, the ancient Greek sea goddess who governs the emotions. The gall, nautilus, and goddess are all associated with water, the primordial element of creation and life. And now today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Paramahansa Yogananda, Even-Mindedness. Equalizing by even mindedness, happiness and sorrow, profit and loss, triumph and failure, so encounter thou the battle, thus thou wilt not acquire sin. The Bhagavad Gita 2.38. A basic principle of yoga is that practicing mental equilibrium neutralizes the effects of delusion. Without the involvement of the emotions of the dreamer reacting to the sensations and incidents of a dream, the dream loses its significance, and especially its hurtful effects. Similarly, the cosmic dream of life loses its delusive power to affect the yogi, who with unruffled inner calmness and even-mindedness views the dream of life without emotional involvement. This advice of the Gita enables the yogi to keep himself aloof from the agitation and sting caused by the clash of the opposites, sporting on the mental screen of his consciousness, even while he perceives and enacts his part in the dream drama. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Amanda Lawrence, Incoming energies have just changed up, increased strength to the vibratory pulsing, plus increase to light-coated vibrations incoming to the crown, face, throat, heart, and root. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Sean Caulfield, Phoenix Rising Codes of Light, 2nd of April 2022, 13 Muluk, Day 113. Activated by the unifying light of the ninth wave frequency, the Phoenix rises in truth, to the intentions of the Source Creator's primordial beginning. This high vibrational tone breaks the illusions, transmuting the poison and transcending the false light. According to the code of the nine-level Mayan calendar pyramid of the evolution of the universe and consciousness, we are since 2011-12 living in the time of cosmic maturity. This is activating the consciousness of the self-aware mind to transmute and transcend the poisons of the serpent of divine time. In this process, the mind is shifting its awareness to live more and more true to the heart and be free. The time of cosmic maturity we are living in now is inadvertently dissolving the filters on the mind and lifting the veils of separation 
to awaken all that is false and not living true to nature and not aligned to the divine will of the source creator of all creation. To be aligned to the source creator's divine will, it means to be aware of the distortions in the mirror and to consciously understand the distortion as an immature, incomplete aspect of creation that has taken the mind off center from the heart for paradoxical reasons. With this understanding, our mind learns to trust itself to let go the hold of the duality of the physical dimension and be in the heart's unified frequency of timeless universal love. The intelligence of the heart's multidimensional pulsing universal light frequency is challenging consciousness to transcend the imprints of duality, and this according to the code is what the ninth wave universal frequency can be understood to be in resonance with. The ebbing and flowing sine wave movement is spinning and spiraling consciousness to higher and higher vibrational levels of unconditional love. As this happens, old destructive patterns are released into the fire of time. The poison is transmuted so that the phoenix can rise and unite the condor, heart, and the eagle, mind. We, the people of earth, are creation and physical form, we are an important aspect to the conclusion of the great universal cycle of divine time that is evolving the collective cosmic soul to be complete to what it began by and to emanate in truth to the collective multidimensional light of itself. With all that is happening on earth in terms of the cosmic dance of the evolution of divine time, it can be understood that the inner world creates the outer temporary reality we experience. Thus, the nine-level pyramid of creation is a reflection of the evolution of the inner spiritual world. Paradoxically, the sacred codes embedded in the pyramid are through the will of Source, creating the collective reality, emanating from these sacred light codes that are also a reflection of the planetary alignments and the eclipses. A new spiral of divine time is lifting the spirit of consciousness to transcend and rise above the repeating patterns that separate and destroy our world. The times we are in are evolving creation to be complete, and by this our light is being assisted to reclaim the lost aspects of the soul and to find our inner truth. Our inner truth we cannot be told, it is what we must find out for ourselves, because as we find out we activate our inner light to awaken and ascend in truth to our source creator within. In the end, because we live in an infinite universe, the light of creation will always support the light of itself. Thus in the end the new is born when true to the beginning. The heart-centered consciousness of the ninth wave frequency aligns the end to the beginning and thus can be understood to be a divine guiding light for the self-aware mind. Hence, the phoenix rises in truth to the beginning, when it opens the heart and allows the light to enter and bring healing for the soul. Universal Timekeeping, 2nd of April 2022, Day 113 of the ninth Wave, 13 Maluk Water, 13 Completes to Ascend. Water is realizing the complexity and diversity of the divine process. Day 113 of the ninth wave is an 18-day period of light. Downloads of new information arrive to assist the mind to transcend duality and grow with new ethical codes of awareness. From UniversalFrequency.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Bashford. And it was prophesied that multitudes of ancient priestesses and keepers of the divine feminine temples of old would reseed themselves on earth during these times of rapid evolution. These priestesses, healers and wise ones would reincarnate to uplight the forgotten, the denied, the banished, the demeaned, and the defiled sacred and secret treasures of the goddess. And so the prophecy is coming true. Who are these guardians of the sacred feminine heart and soul? You, my love. Thank goddess you are now here. Now, wake up and believe it. Now, take the place that was always intended for you. Now, stop procrastinating and distracting yourself. Stop wasting your energies on things that ultimately sabotage you. 
You are immensely qualified for this role. The prophecy is living itself. You are the living proof of it. Take the role now that you know deep inside is manifesting. You are this ancient prophecy of the return of the sacred feminine heart. From SophieBashford.com And from Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy Today, the first of the many 22-22-22 portals to come after the 22-22-22 portal of February, which collectively opened heaven on earth. This is the big DNA portal of conciliation, connection, coexistence, conception, co-creation, synchronization, synergy, synthesis. We have collectively stepped into the activation and actualization of sacred partnerships that correspond and create a powerful union of connection and flow to all levels and all realms, inwardly and outwardly. A new flow of love is here for all. It is done. Our world will be changing forever. Erini. And from Divine Sister of the Light Ishtara Rose, Pink petunia flower comes with her five petals in pink. The five and eight are the numbers of Venus, for Venus makes the pentagram star every eight years. In the pagan wheel we have eight Sabbaths to the year. Five plus eight equal thirteen, which is the sacred feminine number. The thirteenth letter is also the sacred M for Mary. The sun codes also contain the ain't for analemma, draws the fish, the yoni, the eye, the eight in the sky when the sun is recorded from a fixed position at the same time over a year. The analemma is the Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. Anal also means ring, and reversed as lana, it means light. Emma means universal, and the E of El and A of Eshtereth are either side of the double M, 13. Today Petunia brings medicine of the five pink flower, Christed feminine Venus rays, glowing in the masculine sun rays. As the masculine patriarchal imprints are now healed, as the ring brings in the Lana light, to honor and worship the flower in all her glorious light. Petunia clears resentment from masculine imprints and wounds, and as the blocks and old weeping releases, it is turned to the new light of the pink, so she is honored, revered, adored, respected, heard, glowing, radiant, ready for new love, so she may open, glow, and rise. Enjoy the light that is accessible through these safeguarded and sacred words from wayoftherose.co.uk and from Divine Brothor of the Light Pars Kute. What is the way forward? It is solely a matter of constantly connecting to the source of all sources, to God's source, and through this constant connection to God's source, gaining an inner knowledge of these divine processes. Real closeness to God's source automatically means divine knowledge, means participation in the divine omniscient reality. As soon as a person engages in mind games and gets caught up in them, he encounters the hard reality of the mind, which has no access to the infinite image of the creative source and to his infinity. The following approach to life is currently of great importance, to grasp with the mind what is possible, and to recognize with the omniscient consciousness what is beyond all mind perception. Here we must change the point of view and always take the superior view of a conscious creator, God's source. And for such a one, if he stands in the service on this world and as a leader, as a light on the hill, his orientation and way for many people, the maxim is valid. We don't overtax and don't undertax anybody, also not ourselves. What means in the current and here discussed situation, we recognize where the people get off, understand it, without to be led away from the own way and from the own certainty around the correctness of all things in our actions. Understand the doubts and skepticism with which we are now confronted and continue to do our work in the vineyard of God's source with all due caution and devotion. These days are best mastered by the one whose consciousness is one with God's source. 
and we express this unity between man and God's source most effectively by walking on unperturbed and by affectionately leaning towards the growing grass as the wayside, because doubters and skeptics are far from this reality. Helpful in all contemplations of these end times and for all people, no matter whether master, adept, or ignorant, is not to expect the mind to do unreasonable things. This must fail, because the comprehension of this epoch, in the center of which the ascension of this world, is impossible for the human mind. We call the mind to serve us. We command the mind to be silent if it wants to rise to be our master. We now begin to trust our inner knowledge, the gnosis, the indescribable certainty within ourselves, just as we trust a mathematical formula or an event in this world that is visible to our eyes. For the reality of all life is beyond the visible. Only a very small 1% of our omnipotent consciousness constitutes life as we perceive it. Where are the 99%? It is around us. We are surrounded by it, surrounded by life, light, and worlds. We live through, in and with our unlimited, omnipresent consciousness. If we look at this time from a different and limited perspective, we will never be able to grasp the now, and the ascension that presents itself as a delay can only be met with a lack of composure. The key lies in shifting the plane. From where do we look down into the valley, from the top of the mountain, with the valley at our feet and overlooking everything, or from a hill among the mountains, where we can only see part of the valley? We trust our inner eye and sharpen it. Then we have recognized and the now is comprehended. Once the moment of the great events which take place in a cascade of groundbreaking events is reached, it is too late to turn back. Until then, however, everything is possible for each individual. The cosmic flood of light continues to increase, raising the vibration of this world daily. The lives of the people in this world complete themselves. The events are before the portals. Now that everything serves life and is consecrated to God's source, with divine love of one, Pars Kute, and from divine sister of the light, Ramona Lappin, Third, M-class solar flare within 16 hours in progress. We also have solar wind storms, and earlier on some powerful Schumann resonance spikes as well as geomagnetic storms, and a range of 3 to 6 kp levels, not to mention we have been on a C-class solar flare baseline since the 28th. The event is in full swing. Extra super intense it is. Emotions are heightened and cognitive abilities a little impaired, as we're being rewired, the consciousness reset, and body achy with all these clearings and upgrades taking place, we already have massive shifts within the collective consciousness unfolding as we start to fully awaken from the quantum dream. I suggest letting it all go, surrender any remaining worries, fears, and negative thought forms to source, and let the Holy Spirit fill up all the empty spaces. Keep connecting to your heart, soul, and source as all you need to know is right there inside of you. There's so much wisdom being unlocked from within our sacred crystal hearts and DNA right now. But we have to be silent and listen within, dropping the distractions of the outer illusions and see past them and create all new on top. Let your mind and body rest and fully relax. No thing to hold on to or resist, just to be and allow for it all to unfold through you, nurture you, keep watering your sacred garden and keep releasing the old and all that no longer serves, as the truth keeps arising from within and no thing can stop that. Disclosure truly is an inside job. Keep transmuting and alchemizing it all. Keep loving it all up and keep going deeper and deeper within and see what happens. It is time to fully awaken from the quantum dream. We dissolve the matrix by realizing it is artificial, false, fake, that it's not real. It's inorganic and based on inverted thought forms and beliefs, programs. We are to remember that we are dreaming all of this, always, into manifestation. So far mostly, unconsciously, because we forgot that all is a projection of the one mind and consciousness. 
Now it is time for us all to fully wake up from the nightmare and dream a new quantum dream and heaven on earth into being, because this is what we came for. It is taking a group of fully realized and activated crystal avatars now to remember this truth, that it is the responsibility of all of us to co-create our realities responsibly with our every thought, word, action, beliefs, and feelings we project into this world, that we came to lead the way and be the change we wish to see in the world because we carry the blueprints, keys, and codes for this ascension within our DNA, because all unlocks and changes from within. We came to change the way we see and perceive this world because as we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. The quantum observer effect, because it takes different thoughts and beliefs in order to create different realities, because what we have been seen playing out is the reflection of an inverted and traumatized, fragmented world soul consciousness, a mass psychosis and psyche that is filled with false projections, judgments, inversions, reversals, and incoherence, and most can't see what is happening. We came to make this shift happen, all by remembering our true self and nature again, returning to our original innocence with the lessons learned, merging with the great I am from where all becomes possible. As we merge with the oneness, we get to end the game and fully awaken from the dream now. Keep surrendering it all to source, all preconceived ideas, beliefs, thoughts, and what you believe to be true or is going to happen and when. Don't allow others' predictions to write your script for you. Let your higher self and source show you the truth and the way. Drop into the quantum field in no time. The eternal now where all is always accessible. The whole cosmos is right there inside of you. Nothing to hold on to, beloveds. Just flow, trust, relax, surrender. Let go and let the truth and new organic realities be revealed through you now. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maureen Moss. Day by day and flare by flare. Day by day, flare by flare and storm by storm, we are many coming to the anchored realization we are so much more than human beings. Lord Metatron calls us the peoples of the new earth. Yeshua says we are the new dimension not previously occupied. And just prior to the equinox gathering, the formless Elohim, the builders of form, spoke this while I was scribing. Though you are in form now, you are not your form. You are formless beings of consciousness. Waves of light and love swirling in patterns, tones and geometries that took a physical shape to have an earthly experience. Still, you are not that. We come into your consciousness and heart now to assist in blending, merging, and uniting your form with your formlessness and other forms that you are in helping you remember you are multidimensional beings. You are soul-filled consciousness, and though your form was built, it does not identify you and wasn't meant to bind you, only to have use of it to bring light to earth through the human presence of I Am, to create then a new earth through the divine human presence of I Am. The world you are creating now is God's world, of one will and one heart, though it could not be were it not for you, and it cannot be if only you recognize yourself as limited form. As the days pass and light increases your consciousness, you shall realize by your experience that you can be on earth effortlessly as a formed awareness, though unpersonalized formed awareness. You are source light interpreting the light of I am, representing the eternal heart of creation on earth. You are magnificent beings of creation with powerful souls, and you are powerful beings of light who have been chosen and consented to take on a mission that few throughout time and space would have accepted. You have spent lifetimes strengthening your personhood and its consciousness. Now your focus is to go above yourself and strengthen your godhood its consciousness and capabilities, and enjoy the many fruits of your labor and vastness of your being. It will not be long before you see the blessings you have bestowed upon the planet, humanity, and your family of light. We bow to you with eternal love and great respect. Be blessed. 
and thus beloved family of light i pass this on to you with great love and gratitude many blessings abound for us all maureen from maureenmoss.com and from divine sister of the light minima old stories are falling away the old you is saying its final goodbye you can no longer describe your old self because you can no longer attach to it or it feels like it was lifetimes ago a new you is coming online and it is okay to not want to be around certain people places or things that you just do not resonate with anymore i've been seeing a deep timeline of coming online these past six to nine months very intensely and it may feel scary as this new version of yourself is awakening trust your spirit to never give you too much that you cannot handle hold ceremony grieve take time with yourself right now this is a big deal welcome these new aspects in you will have new likes wants and needs your persona has changed or is changing and people may be saying how much you have changed you are beginning to shape shift and look different in your face and body your hair may be shedding or skin texture changing some may even begin to look darker or lighter there are so many changes happening right now star seeds and the world that you once knew has now shifted many are deciding to leave earth right now and get new assignments on many different planets that are assisting us the skies are full of many different spaceships and you can now see battles happening as some reptilians are trying to leave earth right now or go underground their time is up you may be seeing rips or tears in the hologram and this is normal as your consciousness begins to see that it has already been an alternative reality we have been playing in and that we have always been on new earth it was just up to us to see and welcome it in blessed homecoming star seeds we have made it home from mother of starkeeping.com and from divine sister of the light aurora ray the galactic federation about 2022 today i have come with a great message from the galactic federation this message is for everyone who seeks real change in the world not just on the surface but deep down where it matters greetings welcome to the most important message in the history of humanity this is a message to all of you who are on planet earth at this time we come to you with a very urgent message indeed we are the galactic federation and wish to communicate with humanity at this special time we are here today to remind you that you are never alone for there is always help available when you need it this month marks the end of one cycle and the beginning of another it is the end of one year and the beginning of another this is a time of reflection but also a time for new beginnings you have so many opportunities before you now your earth year 2022 may appear to be ordinary at first glance but in truth it will be a very special year indeed you have been working very hard on your journey home over the past few years and now that the energies are reaching a higher octave you will find yourself making much more rapid progress along your chosen path we come from a place far away from where you live a place where time moves much faster than it does here on earth we live in what our scientists call super time our years are much shorter than yours here on earth we are aware of what is happening on earth at this time and we wish to help you through these dark times recent events on earth are causing disruptions to your normal way of life it causes you to think that all is not well in your world and that the true nature of the path ahead remains hidden this is all due to the veil of forgetfulness that has descended upon mankind but it need not be this way if you choose to awaken your planet earth is a living breathing organism that has been infected with a disease called humanity for eons you as humanity have been infected with a virus called greed power and control this virus was introduced onto the planet earth by the dark forces as a result there has been much pain and suffering on earth as well as much destruction to humans plants animals and nature itself this disease continues to grow stronger and stronger every day your world has been in an illusion of separation for eons this illusion of separation has been created by the dark forces who have been deeply deceiving you into believing that you are weak vulnerable and isolated creatures this deception has made it possible for them to control and manipulate you for their own agenda of greed and power 
They have suppressed the truth about the true nature of reality from you. The true nature of reality is that we all exist as one unified, energetic, living organism called creation. Creation exists within the mind and imagination of its creator, source, God, all that is. We would like to inform you that a major transition is approaching in your reality. In this sense, we have been watching your reality from afar for a very long time and have been waiting for the optimal moment in order to intervene. The time has arrived when we can intervene without the risk of being exposed to the dark forces that control your world at present to a lesser degree than before. The fifth dimension is near and it will begin in a short while from now. During this time, your current reality will dissolve and a new one will emerge where true freedom, peace, and prosperity can be experienced by everyone on earth. It is our mission to provide a smooth transition so that everyone's physical survival is assured. Therefore, after the event has taken place, we will openly introduce ourselves to humanity and welcome you into the galactic community. You are entering a period when changes are taking place on earth. You can say that the old ways are no longer acceptable and the new ways must be found. There will be many who oppose change and still more who do not know what is happening around them. Lightworkers' work is crucial at this time for they bring messages of hope to their brothers and sisters. You are here to help others see that there is a better life ahead for them, but you must first believe it yourselves, or how can you expect others to believe it? The light will eventually reach every corner of your world, and only then will it be swept aside by the light from our fleet's craft. We are ready to usher humanity into a new era of great cooperation and compassion among all races in this universe. We know that some of you have already been contacted by members of our Federation. For those of you who have, have not yet been contacted, we wish to say that we understand your reasons for remaining anonymous and we respect your right to privacy. We will always respect your right to privacy. However, we feel it is important that we contact you in an open and public manner so that all can hear and learn about who we are, where we come from, and why it is so vitally important for us to contact you. It is our hope that this message will be heard by as many people as possible so that there can be no doubt in anyone's mind about who we are or what our intentions are. We do not wish to interfere with your free will, but we do want you to know that if you wish it, our help is available to you at all times. All you have to do is ask for it. Reach out with your heart and be open to receiving it. There is much confusion in your world, especially now as you move into a new cycle. Your world has been in the process of change for many years, but now it is time to awaken fully into who you really are. We would like you to know that many of your brothers and sisters from space are here to help you through these troubled times. You might think that they come in spaceships, but some are already on Earth in their light bodies, working behind the scenes. There are also starseeds among you who will soon take on their new form, and they will reveal themselves once they feel safe enough to do so. They have plans to work alongside those of you who seek change for the betterment of mankind. It is happening right now at a higher level than most people realize, and indeed the changes are coming so fast that they will soon become obvious for all to see. They will be revealed through first one country and then another as they progress towards world peace and freedom for every man, woman, and child. It is not an easy task for us to communicate with you about these matters. There are those who would try to prevent us from reaching you, so we must be careful with our words and how we present them. We do not wish to alarm anyone with what we have to say at this time. We wish to speak with all of you about what is coming over the coming years for this planet and its people. It is important that you understand what is happening around you. We know that many of you think that this planet is coming towards some sort of destruction, but it is not so. Humanity is now in the process of finalizing plans to assist with the reawakening of this planet. You all need to be involved with the changes that will occur during this time. Humanity, your creator is calling you to remember that you are magnificent, powerful beings of light. You are loved, cherished, and protected by your creator. It is time to awaken to this truth. This awakening will allow you to remember who you truly are and why you are here. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. 
Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the GalacticFederation.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Molly McCord. Main Astrological Energies of April 2022 Jupiter-Neptune conjunction and eclipse season begins. April is a significant astrological month with a once-in-a-lifetime Jupiter-Neptune conjunction at 23-24 degrees Pisces, followed by a Taurus solar eclipse at the end of the month. We are releasing in a very big way so that the new beginnings can be ushered in and replenish where we have surrendered with trust. Pluto stations retrograde at the end of the month in new Capricorn territory, supporting a six-month process of integration and recalibration. April has a strong Pisces energy as both Venus and Mars enter this last sign of the zodiac, further emphasizing the need to give ourselves a break and stay mindful of our energy needs throughout the month. From Molly McCord, online, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun and Mercury conjunct Chiron and Aries. The storm from yesterday's new moon continues. The spotlight is now firmly on our healing. There is so much collective suffering right now that it seems hard to talk or think of anything else. But we need to make time to do a personal inventory of our own suffering as the sun spotlights where we have been hurt. Personal faults and failures may feel glaringly obvious, and the mind can quickly turn to brutal admonishment if we let it. But if we can catch it before it starts, we can shift our inner commentary to one that is encouraging, motivating, inspiring. We are not lesser beings for our pain. We are still allowed to want and love and desire and live despite perceived mistakes. Those mistakes were just lessons anyway, all signposts on the path to purpose. All flashlights to illuminate the inner spirit, the truth of who we are, which is always as glorious as our star. Let us have conversations about vulnerability, photos that show us as we are, stories about where we fell and where we triumphed. Talking is medicine. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 214, White Rhythmic Wizard. Rhythmic is the name for the number six, and its keywords are equality, balance, and organize. We are now on the sixth day of the Red Moon Wave Spell with its agenda of going with the flow. Day six is always about getting practical and organized, a bit tricky within the context of flowing. How does one organize and relinquish control at the same time? Well, it's quite easy, really. Get yourself together and take care of the necessities, and this will restore balance in your life allowing you the peace of mind that will enable you to relax. Today is White Wizard, which represents enchantment, receptivity, and timelessness. The wizard is one of the most elusive and mysterious characters in the Tzolkin. People born on these days are very complex and hard to get to know. Wizard energy enchants us, and we can fall under a spell on wizard days. This can lead to a very profound experience of this and can also lead to dumbfoundedness. Don't be surprised that by the end of the day you ask yourself, what just happened? The guy today is also White Wizard. And today from Divine Sister of the late Christina Papa Giorgio, White, Rhythmic Wizard, 6, Ish, Keen 214, 2nd of April 2022, Balancing Enchanting Flow, 2, 4, 2022 equal 2, 4, 6 equal 2, 10 equal 2, 1 equal 3. Two four six. Let's go go go. Six six. Heaven's gate. Day codes. Two twins. Partners. Duality. Cooperation. Three. Holy Trinity. Triad. Joy. Creativity. Communication. Month year codes. Four form. Structure. Foundation. Earth. Angelic. Six. Heaven. Christ. Family. Romance. Fertility. Ten. Manifestation. Power. Authority. 1. New Beginnings, Original, Unique, Leader. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 214 equals 7. Mystic, Magic, Spiritual, Solitude. Another heavenly divine day for creating more balance in our world. Day 6 in the Red Moon Wave Spell of the Goddess. 
who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our natural flow. Today we are organizing for more flow through balancing the flow of giving and receiving in our life, allowing for more joy, prosperity, and wellness to flow. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm, action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all-adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Today is a great day to find balance in your physical reality, body, by becoming more receptive to the endless flow of timelessness, bringing endless opportunities and greater potential. We are organizing our physical reality for more balance and equality, and especially our financial reality. The rhythmic tone is the feng shui tone. We have a fantastic day for spring cleaning, decluttering our house space, organizing your office, channeling ideas, journaling, or reflecting on your dreams and desires. It is time to allow your enchanted seeds to sprout and flow through you, bringing them forth into your physical reality. Keep believing in the white magic and keep expressing your radiant powers benevolently each day and the universe will return the energy to you one thousandfold. Magic happens. Today's question is how can I organize my physical reality for greater balance and equality, opening to a greater flow of magic in my life? What new beginning am I consciously choosing to manifest? Divine blessings for enchanting miracles to bring balance and greater flow into our world. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 214, White Rhythmic Wizard. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to enchant. Balancing receptivity, I seal the output of timelessness. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, manifestations, and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Laura Farlow for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the eagle and the condor. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Cherry Wolf for your pledge and support and welcome to the tribe of the eagle and the condor. If you'd like to support us in our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge at our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Lynn Wood, for another donation. Thank you very much. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Rita Minster, for another donation today. Thank you very much for your continued support, Divine Sister of the Light. If you'd like to support us with our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal link at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other beautiful works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful prayer and decree from Divine Brother of the Light, David Alexander Lightfoot. New prayer decree to clear your path from negativity and fear and open up to true love, guidance, and abundance. 
Dear Father, Mother, Creator, God, the Archangels, the Ascended Masters, our Galactic Brothers and Sisters, and our Divine Helpers and Guides, I request your support to help clear me from all negativity, blocks, cords, attachments, implants, mind control energies, parasites, diseases, hooks, curses, hexes, spells, old soul contracts, old vows, fears, hate, war energies, doubt, old drama, trauma, and karma. I demand and command that all that no longer serves me and blocks my new path on the new timeline to be cleared, removed, or transmuted into love so I can ascend and ground into the higher frequencies of 5D and beyond. I ask all divine helpers and my personal divine support team and guides to clear and protect me from all lower vibrational energies, dark and dense energies, distractions, false guides, false beliefs and negativity being projected onto me by others in the old 3D world. I am now ready to fully leave the 3D matrix behind and step into the higher dimensional love matrix of the 5D world and higher dimensions. Please place a crystalline field of protection around me so I can be my true loving self at all times. It is done. It is done. It is done. I am grateful for all the healing, true love guidance, protection, the blessings, and abundance. David Alexander Lightfoot Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred weekend and a most powerful and blessed Ramadan tomorrow for our people that celebrate this holy day. From April 2nd to May 2nd, where we blaze our holy light into this field, into this realm for the great ascension process. This will be 30 days of empowerment and activation for all living beings of the light. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and all days the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.